Hello everybody, I'm Loke and we're back with a little bit more Terraria. However, this time we have a very, very specific goal to achieve. I've been very busy, 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 busy indeed. Doing some work down south, deep south, down here in the Hell Bio. As you can see, I've got quite the swath of space dug out down here. That's what all these little deep old square holes are, is previous hell towers or hell city buildings or whatever you'd like to call them, all dug out. Uh, I didn't need all this, I guess. Uh, however, eventually it may end up that way. So what we're going to do is we're going to head on down to hell, and then we're going to take out the wall of flesh. Plain and simple. So, we got 2,000 bullets. However, we're going to try and make some more. So we got some meteorite bars here. And we got, let's see here. Let's see, let's see. We got our platinum. However, I did, I in the process of digging out the our wall of flesh zone, I collected 15 more gold, and I reforged our mini shark. It's now demonic. That's plus 17% damage. Plus five percent critical strike chance. So it's a much better mini shock. So we gonna try and use it. However, we need to sell some things to get money to buy more bullets. Plain and simple. So let's see, we gonna sell our lead. That should be plenty. We need to go to our gunsmith man here. Come on, jump up. There we go. Come here. Come here, Darnell. Or whatever you, your name is. Yeah, Darnell. Alright. Four gold. 48 silver. 48 silver. Get us a lump of bullets. That should be all we need right now. Now let's make us some neat yo shot. Glad those build up quickly. Alright, and those ones can get put back in here. Because we don't need them. Alright. Now, we've got a plethora of buffs here to use. And I'm going to talk about our equipment. And the reason why I've chosen it, we've got our Knight's Edge. We've got a masterful, masterful Flower of Fire, which I probably won't use that. Uh, we've got the Mini Shark, the Deadly Water Bolt, I found a Celestial Flame Lash, which is kind of like a uh, magic missile, except it's fire. And we got our B-Nades. Now, the Knight's Edge we're not going to use, probably because, well, in all honesty, the Wall of Flesh is a ranged thing, unless you're very high into the uh, hard mode. You're probably going to get owned if you try and uh, melee Wall of Flesh to death. Uh, Master Fire Flower, it's a cool weapon, it's strong, but it doesn't it doesn't travel very far, in all honesty. If I come over here, you can see it doesn't go up very tall. And the Wall of Flesh takes up the entire screen, so it's not a big, not a super healthy weapon. Our May Shark, we got the Ricochet or rebounding meteor shot, so that is obvious why we're using that. And that does 9 damage. And then we've got our water bolt. And this is probably what we're going to be using a lot of, uh, because of one, it's rebounding properties, and two, how it will just tear through something and do continual damage as it goes through the enemy. And we've also got our slime here, slimer here. And he'll just sit there and, you know, hopefully, hopeful. Uh, he'll just attack the hell out of the wall, wall of flesh as we're running for our lives. Then we got the B-Nades, just for the heck of it. 15 damage, extremely weak knockback, consumable, explodes into a swarm of bees. I'm hoping that that swarm is, uh, will actually do some damage. Now, for our buffs, we've got quite a lot of stuff here. Um, we've got Night Owl, so we can see better. Shine, so we can see where we're at better. Swiftness, obviously, so we can run faster. Iron Skin, so we take less damage. Thorns, so we do return damage. Spelunker, so we can see uh, both mobs and uh, 
other goodies better. I'm not too sure if I actually need that one, but I just, hey, why not? I like to use this stuff. Regen will keep us alive for a little bit. Well, it'll help keep our health maximized longer. Feather Falls so we can stay in the air longer. Hunter Potion shows the location of enemies. And Magic Power Potion, 20% increased magic damage. This one's going to be big because we're going to be using the Water Bolt a lot. And this guy here is magic as well, so that should buff up the damage on him, hopefully. Now, our accessories, I have chosen very specifically. Uh, we have 240 mana here, as you can see. Cloud in a Bottle, that does additional damage. Cobalt Shield does additional damage. Our Running Boots do additional damage. And then we've got Obsidian Rose, which its primary effect doesn't do us any, you know, doesn't help us right now because we're not going to be touching lava. Um, but it's the plus 20 mana, and then the Red Balloon plus 20 mana. Those are the two things we want. The more mana we can have with this, the better. So we should be able to get off quite a few shots uh, with this as we're running. Yeah, that is that is a lot of shots. So we're going to do the drop, and we're going to fall down to hell. All right, Slammer, where are you at? All right, and while we're here, we're going to cast that just for the smell of it. Then we got our guide voodoo doll, and our guide is alive. Now, I actually don't know if... Uh, there's enough space down here to kill him, uh, but we're going to give it a shot. And as you can see right here at the end of our platform, uh, I've actually dug out a little pit and filled it with lava so we can, so we don't have to go and sit next to a ledge with the risk of getting uh, popped off the edge by some random monster. All right, there we go. We are down. So this is what I have been working on is digging out all this space and making this humongous platform that stops here. However, it does keep going just in general for a little bit longer. And I'm actually going to Just in case we need the ex little the extra running room. Oh, I forgot I don't have the uh, our little grippy grebling hook anymore. So yeah, if we, if we actually get this far, um, something is seriously wrong, and we're probably not going to be living much longer. So not too worried about it. So let's go and try and. Get ourselves a wall of flesh. Do a quick heal up. Now you never truly know just how far you need with the wall of flesh because uh, each game, you know, it, it's all going to depend on the weapons you have, on the equipment you have, on the buffs you have. Um, the accessories you have, so it's a little different every single time. I've killed it, you know, half a dozen times or more in, on different games. Um, so yeah, here is our space. We, we should have enough space to, to kill him, I'm thinking. Um, at least I'm hoping we do. And I'm going to stick around for 18 more seconds. Let our health potion disappear now. Now the trick to this is we have to uh, be facing the left of the screen if we want him to come from the left. It's that simple. If we don't, um, he'll come from the right and, well, we'll get really screwed over. So, time to drop in the guide. And here it is. And there he comes. There he is. Oh, yeah. Wall of flesh, baby. Oh, probably should hit my buffs, shouldn't I? There we go. And I'm just going to try and focus on one eye primarily here. Uh, it seems to work out better that way for me. And I'm 
I'm not too much worrying about these little things unless they get too close to me. So there we go, and I can re or start doing these again. Now these will uh, start. Oh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Where's my mouse? Where's my mouse? There's my mouse. It's all red and he's red and I'm just kind of get confused. Let's try and kill some of these little things. The witch doctor has arrived. I've never had the witch doctor. Hmm. Alright, he's down to 3,000 health. He's about, what, just over half dead? Nope, he's about two-thirds dead. Now, normally, in the past, every time I've killed him, my uh, water bolts have actually started coming back. So, it's kind of surprising me that they're not coming back at us. And we are just about out of runway here. Come on. Oh, wait. Got to, got to use those. And, oh, there he Come on, come on, come on. Dead, 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 dead. Da, 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 da. Yes! Yes, Wall of Flesh is dead. Has dead? Ha, <laughs> ha, ha. Yeah, baby. First time on screen for me. Oh, we got the laser rifle. Oh, dang. Yeah, buddy. We're going to leave that there. The ancient spirits of light and dark have been released. Now, when you go into hard mode, uh, hell doesn't really change that much. Uh, what changes is the rest of the world. You get the hallows, and you get the uh, corruption even worse than what it is n normally. Um, and the big concern with the two is that the hallow and the corruption will grow on their own. So they will actually take over your world, and if you do not... Uh, take precautions to keep your world from being overrun, you will end up with nothing except half corruption and uh, half hallows. So we don't want that to happen, so what we need to do is we need to start uh, uh, what's hmm, for lack of a better word isolating our world from the hallows and from the corruption. So that's what I'm going to be focused on doing for the next foreseeable future. So let's head on up, and there's the witch doctor. Choose wisely, Mr. Lockwood. My commodities are volatile and my dark arts mysterious. What has he got? He's got a blowgun. Imbuing statue. Can be placed. I ain't got a clue what this is, so hmm, let's get it. Now what can I do with this thing? Not a lot. All right, laser damp. Oh yeah, check that out. Uses eight mana. That's all the ammo it uses. I am liking that. All right, we're gonna put you there. Okay, we ended up not using the magic power potion, the feather fall potion, and the hunter potion. For some reason, the game just didn't except to use those buffs. We got us a Hellbat banner while we was down there, so let's place that up. Oh yes, look at that. Look at that. Alright, now. The Pawn Hammer, uh, if you don't know, is what is needed to well, start saving the world and start... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Let's go with that. Um, transforming the world, you need the Pawn Hammer to break demon altars to uh, give the world the special ores. So what you have to do is you have to go into the corruption. Oh my goodness, seriously? I forgot that about it. You have to go into the corruption or wherever else there are in the world and break demon altars with the Pawn Hammer. And in the process of doing that, the world will spawn adamantium, um, cobalt, mithril, a um, whole bunch of stuff. But right now we don't want to do that because we want to isolate our world from the corruption. Because if we do not, it will grow, it will spread, we will lose our jungle, we will lose our deserts. 
Um, and then pretty much anything we want to do afterwards is going to be... We'll be completely out of luck. Um, in hard mode, like the name suggests, uh, you start getting monsters that are a lot harder, a lot meaner, uh, they start dropping a lot more money, and the gear that they drop is also worth a lot more to you, both in uh, the damage it does, as well as uh, the protection it provides them, as well as you. So here is the corruption. We're more concerned about the corruption, at least in my book. See, there we go. We got Corruptor. This is part of the new uh, hard mode mobs. As you can see, it took quite a lot more to uh, take him out. And there's that, a Slimer. Those are actually pretty neat mo monsters there. They uh, drop a Corrupt Slime. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, I am not going to be breaking any orbs until I get the world um, separated from the Corruption. Now, as you can see, we've got some stone here. And the Corruption has already started spreading to the stone platforms that I'd placed out here, so... Uh, yeah, it does, it can happen quick, it can happen slow, but what I need to do is basically just start digging. Um, I'm going to go up here real quick, because we want to separate it from our sand here. That is going to be our first goal. So, we need to actually come all the way over to this side of the corruption, and this is going to be our uh, hollowed, I believe, over there. And we will also lose our... our uh, dungeon eventually I believe um, I could be wrong about that though possessed armor those guys have very high resistances and I can't even hit him because my slimer is hitting him there we go not too shabby Yeah, I love this weapon. I was hoping for the clockwork rifle, but I like this one better because it doesn't take ammunition. Ha <laughs> ha! Alright, we're going to try to find the edge of the corruption here. Yeah, see, it's already started taking over our, our uh, desert here, uh, which previously it had not done at all. So we're going to come over here and try to find... Let's see if we can guess where... Um, it's not a lot of desert left, so... Uh, also, the... Uh, the uh, blah, blah, Eye of Cthulhu eyes get a lot stronger and meaner um, in hard mode, as you can see there. Get off me! We're just trying to survive here long enough so that we can... Oh, wow, man. Oh, they can't jump up here. That's excellent. Yeah, the eyes now have 300 health. There we go. Oh, whoa, 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 get off me, get off me. Ooh, those guys are not good. Wraith, get off me. Mummies really aren't that hard, it's the uh, armor that's hard. So I'll tell you what, we're just going to dig down right here. And see what we got down here. Yeah, see, we've, we're already starting to lose our our desert to uh, the corruption here, and it just happened, literally. And you really can't do this, to the best of my knowledge, before 
Um, you kill the wall of flesh because you don't know where um, you're going to lose your jungle. You don't know where you're going to lose uh, your desert. So it's really a waiting game until you can complete it. Or not complete it, but uh, kill him. And then start getting your stuff that you need. Oh, come on. Nope, I want six. And then the uh, the blood moons are much much meaner in uh, hard mode than you ever could have thought them to be in regular mode. I'm just gonna dig down till I don't have any sand anymore. As you can see, we got some way over here. This stuff spreads quick. Tell you what, let's make sure these guys can't actually get to us. There we go. Now what is going to happen here is, seeing as I don't play Terraria, you know, 24 hours a day, um, what is going to be going on is I'm going to be taking the time I can, um, as quickly as I can, uh, while in-game, to clear out a four-block space around the Corruption and the Hallows as quickly as I can. Um, around our, the entire map. Because it will jump up to four tiles. Um, and then once that's done, I will start coming back and playing Terraria for you guys again. Um, until then, I'm likely going to be doing Starbound, um, Dwarf Fortress. Uh, there's a couple of other games I might be playing, but uh, until I can get the Corruption, or basically the the spread arrested uh, as best I can. I'm not going to be doing any more Terraria, uh, although I will bring it back, I promise. Uh, I might actually upgrade my pick. Um, I might like go to another world, kill the Wall of Flesh, get a quicker pick, um, because this thing is just slow and the picks in uh, hard mode are insanely fast. And once that's all done, we'll start back on the path of conquering this world to its utmost, collecting all the hard mode items, pets, um, pirates, um, the uh, super dungeon, um, new jungle mobs, all that good stuff. So until then, uh, I'm going to let you guys go, and hopefully I can get some of this done here and start saving our world from the corrupt, for being lost to corruption and to, uh, well, the hallows. Until next time, I'm Loke with y'all guys, uh, y'all guys, stutter stutter, y'all have a good day, peace. <laughs>